welcome back, Magic Moon Wanderers. Talking to the moon. So this vlog will be slightly similar to the other pack and vlog that I've done. Luna won't be here again because she doesn't want to do it. However, I thought I think it's worthwhile doing this one because packing to go up to Scotland to the Highlands to the Outer Hebrides on the most epic Scottish road trip is slightly different than when we were packing for Wales or packing for London because we'll, we're taking camping stuff and I haven't had our camping stuff out for way over two years so I don't even know if we, what we've got we're supposed to be a uh, while camping for a few nights too so I don't even know if we've got sleeping bags that are sufficient let's have a look so we're gonna take my tent, mine is like a, it's got a room, a room, a double room, a double room, and then a bit in the middle for your stuff. Um, and it's not completely waterproof, it's not dead at all though. But I did say hers has got holes in it, so mine's gonna be the best bet. So we'll just go with mine. Never even had these out the bag. We've never actually slept in these. I can't remember where they've come from, why I've got them. But I knew that they were there. I don't know how warm they're going to be, and they haven't got zippers, but we can always stuff them with blankets, can't we? I think that's a great idea. And the tent doesn't get blown away. Right. So I said she's got a Caligas heater thing. Pump for the bed. I think we're both taking beds. Um, I've got one of those little stoves with a one heater, but I don't think we'll get it lit because it's a bit dodgy, to be honest. Um, yeah, I, I don't think we're going to take them. I think we're going to take dive. Oh, I forgot about these. Oh, my little camping box. Don't worry. Be happy. And then little bees. <laughs> I'm just excited about them. Oh, I haven't seen you for ages. And then we've got a little kettle. So now we've been doing since we started going to Disneyland was taking snacks with us and making little snack bags up for each day. Uh, Luna's hungry every hour so if she's got a snack that she can just grab it's not the healthiest stuff but she eats healthy meals and then she can have a snack. In this bag this is the stuff that I got when we were in Legoland. I've just got to get some water, lots of water. Um, we're a little bit fearful because when we arrive on Lewis and Harris the first day it's a Sunday and nothing is open. So we just want to make sure that we've got enough little bits in. And obviously we need marshmallows to barbecue. I've got all of Luna's stuff all together. So Luna, for Luna, I'm taking five t-shirts, loads of leggings, three jumpers, a cardigan, some sports sets, uh, some little shorts, a costume and some socks. Um, and that's it. There's going to be nothing glamorous about this trip so there's no need for any glamorous clothes maybe i might take we might travel in something a bit nice and we might take a few nice bits for on the way back down because we're going to go to glasgow for the day but other than that yep we are going to be in our old clothes to run around and get dirty in um and now this stuff i've got some waterproof things because we're going to be by water and some water shoes toiletries literally i'm trying to be as basic as i can so i've got some wipes i've got these for the midges look how flat this is it's literally the the tube with the least amount of toothpaste to take so i think that should last us and um, brush deodorant to share in here i have my bubbles and slides and clips because we've both got long hair um, and literally all i'm taking for makeup is me tropic which i just take everywhere because it's amazing so it's like a tinted like tinted spf it's like 50 it just smells and feels divine on your face so i'm taking that i'm gonna take a little bit of mascara and a little bit of brown for my eyebrows that is it i've got my first aid kit what do you use taking your first aid kit i think everybody's is probably similar but mm. so i've just got tablets ibuprofen paracetamol some germaline um, some antacids in here I've got plasters a lighter some scissors some bite cream some wound dressings uh, some burn dressings just like immediate stuff 
think I, even though I'm not a nurse anymore, you know, it's still always in you a little bit. And then, oh, I bought these from Lush. I cannot wait to use these. So I bought some soap, which I wish you could smell this right now. It smells like oranges and bergamot and oh, it's just gorgeous. I bought that, bought this little tub with two little charity things in it. And this has just got like shea butter. Um, you just literally rub it over, yeah, and put it on. And it's like, oh, it's just beautiful. So that's the moisturizer for the week. And then in here, I've never used one of these, but I was dead excited to get one. It's a shampoo bar. Can you smell that? Oh, it's just gorgeous. It's got seaweed and sea salt and lime. And oh, it's just beautiful. I felt like that one. There was other ones that I preferred the smell of. Um, but this one looked like Scotland to me, so I like that one. So I'll let you know how they go. I'm going to be using our packing cubes again. If you want to see more of this, there is a packing video further down. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be using the packing cubes. Wait until you see how much of this stuff I get in. So you literally just roll everything up. And then it fits inside, but you get loads in. Oh, good morning. So yesterday uh, I got so far with the packing, I managed to get all the camping stuff together and all the balloons together and put them in the packing cubes. But then does anyone else do this? You spread everything out on your bed and you're like, I will get this done today. And then it got to bedtime, I was really tired, could not do no more and I had to move all the stuff off the so I literally made it all on the floor. I've just got up this morning, made a coffee, and now I'm gonna get my stuff packed. Um, I've got it all together, so I've literally just got to double check that I've got bits to go with bits, and then und get underwear together, and then put all of that in packing cubes. I'm hoping it fits. My clothes are bigger than Luna's, so I'm hoping that mine fits okay. There's nothing glamorous in any of this packing at all. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah, it's just all old clothes. Do you want me to show you? So I've got five pairs of leggings, five t-shirts, three jumpers, um, like a walking jacket. I've got pants and a top for Glasgow that I not as sporty just in case um little sports bra thing some socks i'm gonna take this dress just in case i just need to be free while i'm rewilding on the beach and some shoes i'm gonna go in my walking boots because they're obviously the biggest but they are they need to wash <gasps> look at them oh i can't wait to put these back on my feet i am very excited and I'm feeling much more ready to do this and go with this. Yesterday I was a little bit, oh, I was having lots of little aches and lots of little anxieties and worries. Eh? But today I am really, really ready for it. All our packing for Scotland is done. Excessive? I have absolutely no idea because I've never done this before. We've got eight nights in Scotland. We have a small suitcase each. We've got camping stuff back there with blankets underneath. We've got a food bag with some towels underneath and we've got two backpacks each. They are coming. <laughs> this trip feels really, really special to me. So I went to Scotland um, in 2008 for the very, very first time and absolutely fell in love with it. I didn't want to come home. I was only there for three days and the highest that I went up was Fort William. Um, there was something uh, I knew that was going to always pull me back there. Then when I was pregnant with Luna, we went to Stirling as a family trip over New Year. I was like nine months pregnant. Luna was born two weeks later. So I didn't really get to explore a lot then. 
and then a few years ago we went camping by Loch Lomond that was really really gorgeous but the trip got cut short because thunder and lightning came in and we needed to pack up the tent so again I didn't get to do all the exploring that I wanted to do I wanted to go up to the Outer Hebrides for as long as I can remember and I've always had this pull to go there I've never really understood why and then recently I um I was emailing uh, my biological dad his name's Peter and he lives in LA and I was saying you know I'm sure I'm Celtic um or I'm Gaelic I, I know I'm I've got this blood in me that draws me to these places and he's I knew that he was Irish and he met he emailed me back and said hello Bonnie laughs um like he'd found out that his biological father was Scottish so I do actually have Scottish blood and um, it makes me feel quite emotional that I'm getting to do this trip um, and that I'm getting to do it with Luna and I feel like in some part of me feels like I'm almost going to be touching home a little bit. I don't know. Strange these feelings that we get, don't we? You know, there's that wonder loss, but there's always that our bones know some things that we don't know. And um, yeah, I'm just, it's going to be emotional. I'm, all, I'm also very anxious about it. Yeah, I am a little bit anxious about it. I've never wild camped. Don't know what stuff. <laughs> you can see all the stuff there. I don't know. I'm taking my trusty yellow Jasper. I don't know if you can see this. I wasn't going to take a crystal with me uh, because I don't know if you've watched Outlander. Um, I'm not going to ruin anything for you, but I wasn't going to take crystals with me for that reason. However, this has just been looking at me from my shelf. It's yellow Jasper. It's a lovely nature. It's like a hug stone and it's a really, really good stone to travel with. So yeah, I'm going to take that with me. So our itinerary, ooh, where are we going? We are driving from Liverpool to Loch Ness and we're gonna stay there for one night in St Augustus. We've got a hostel booked, which is a room with four bunk beds in it. That's gonna be loads of fun. Then the next morning we are up really, really early to drive over to Ullapool. From Ullapool we are getting the ferry over to Isle of Lewis and Harris and Oh my gosh, so that's going to be on the Sunday and it's going to be full moon. We're going to be camping under the full moon uh, while camping the first night on Lewis and Harris. Then after that we've got two rooms booked at uh, a place called Take Solace. We've got a room each booked there for two nights. So we're going to be able to explore the island really well. That big bang was Luna waking up. Um, then from there we've got the ferry booked over to Sky. We're going to go over to Sky on the ferry and we're going to wild camp on Sky. Then from Sky we're going to go over the Sky Bridge. We're going to drive past Fort William, down through Glencoe, down to Oban and then we're going to stay in Oban for the night in a hostel. Then we were trying to get the ferry over to Malt for the day but there's no ferries left. All of these things should be really, really be planned way in advance, especially for summer. And obviously, we've this has been a last, well, a last-ish minute plan. So the ferries were booked. We can't go to Balamori. However, we are then gonna go to Loch Lomond for the day, and then we're gonna drive to Paisley. We're gonna stay there, and we're gonna have a day in Glasgow before we come home. So that is our itinerary. That's gonna be our eight days in. I am sending out so much love as always to you all so yes come along for the journey if you haven't already don't forget to like this vlog consider subscribing and come along for the journey with us say hi connect with us oh Luna's here And say goodbye to everyone. Bye. See you in Scotland. Scotland magic mirror on his bye. Bye. Talking to the moon.